All right, this one is the Exacta V. I like how they had a screw on lens cap just to make it extra slow to get the cap off so you could take a picture. This one has a real short little strap instead of a full strap and uh, this camera has a problem because it's missing its take up reel. So if you're looking at an exact the V, the, re the reel, the take up spool from the VX will not fit in here. Make sure you get a spool with the camera you buy if you end up buying an exact the V. They're a cool looking camera. They are well built. They have good optics. If you get a good Schneider lens like this one has, uh, but certainly test it out because you saw in the other video how the slow shutter speeds weren't working and then we got one to work but if you don't use this camera for a few weeks will it still work? I don't know if I would trust it. It, it may cost you some film, it may waste some film on you but that's all it will do and it's certainly worth trying. If you shoot a lot it may actually exercise it enough that it actually gets to the point where all the shutter speeds are working fine. It's the Exacta V. The VX is also out. There are others that you'll find. They're beautiful. They're ornate. They're weird shape and they're a little hard to hold, but they fire from the left and they wind from the left. All things that make them just a little bit cool. All right. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and uh, I'll get to them when I can. And I'd love to see some pictures. If you have any with an exact V, put them in the uh, comments below so we can see. Thanks again for watching and thanks for subscribing. Bye-bye.